Happy Friday. Yes, I'm in my car again. It seems like I'm always doing these videos from the car, but you know, launching my 2024, I'm in the car a lot, going on meetings, and hopefully you are as well. So the final P for my success formula. And you know what? It's fitting because it's the best one, and that is P for people. Who is your tribe? is my question are you surrounding yourself with the right people you know the people that you don't have to remind to do things you know the people that show up early to meetings you know the people who don't make excuses you know the ones that are not overly critical you know the ones that aren't always peacocking the ones that are for you not against you the ones that always call you to check in without an ulterior motive just to see how you're doing those people are you surrounding yourself with those people? And you will see that it makes all the difference. Tribe really does matter. And picking your people is super important. I would say it's the most important P out of my five P's to success series that I've talked about this week. Do an analysis of who are the people that you are hanging out and spending your time with now. And then ask yourself in the mirror when nobody else is watching and you're 100% honest, are these the people that are going to show up to your funeral? Are these the people who are going to be there when you're going through tough times? Because we all do. And if not, the beauty is that there's billions of people on planet Earth. Go get yourself some more or different ones, right? Surround yourself with these wonderful people. And that's both in your business and your personal life. And by the way, we're all so busy that... You can't even handle a ton of people. So select your people carefully because you know what? Your mom was right. You're only going to have a few select real friends in your life. Be a giver. Be the friend that you expect in others. You be that friend too. Are you calling people randomly just to see how they're doing genuinely without an ulterior motive? Are you giving grace are you being patient? Are you being loving? Because you can't get it back if you don't give it, right? So choose your people wisely. Make sure your picker isn't broken. Broken. Make sure you pick people. And you do your due diligence. And you'll see how your life will change in a big way. Because at the end of the day, when you're on your deathbed, you're not going to be thinking about material things. You're going to be thinking about experiences. And those always involve people. So have a fantastic weekend. Surround yourself with those great people this weekend and you'll see it makes all the difference. And by the way, go Niners.